If you are using a Windows PC, chances are you are using a lot of unoptimized and wrong settings. So in this guide, we will be optimizing Windows performance for gaming and reducing input delay without downloading a single thing and just by using the settings within the Windows itself. This will work for both Windows 11 and 10 as well as any low-end, mid or high-end PC. And you can also expect a boost in FPS and a much smoother Windows experience at the end of the video. So let's get into it. The first thing that you want to do is open up the start menu and search for device manager. Go ahead and open it up and once it opens up click on the system devices and expand it down inside of here there are a number of devices that i want you to disable the first one is the composite bus enumerator so just right click on it and click on disable device in my case i have already disabled it so it's going to show me the enable option the second one is the high precision event timer once again right click and disable device the third is the numeric data processor once again do the same thing to disable it and the fourth one is the sm bus source controller now the disable devices will have a downward pointing arrow which you can see right here. Once you have disabled all of these devices, what I want you to do is click on the network adapters and expand it down. Then right click on your network connection, hit properties and click on power management. Make sure that all of these are unchecked and hit OK. Once you are done with that, click on view and click on devices by connection. Now inside of here, I want you to find the USB host controller that has your mouse and keyboard attached to it. So in my case, I have two, but my mouse and keyboard are attached to the first one. So if I just expand this down, as you can see, here is my mouse and here is my keyboard. As for the second one, it only has some generic USB hubs. So I'm gonna close that one down and then click on the generic USB hub inside of here that has my mouse and keyboard attached attached to it. Then right click on it, click on properties, go into the power management and make sure that allow the computer to turn off this device to save power is unchecked, hit ok. Then right click on the mouse, click properties and do the same thing for the power management, just make sure that the first one is unchecked and then do the same thing for the keyboard, right click properties, power management, the first one is unchecked, hit ok. Now you can close out of the device manager as we are done inside of here. Moving on, open up your start menu once again and type in msconfig. Go ahead and open it up and inside of the system configuration, go into the boot tab. Then click on advanced options, make sure that the number of processor is checked and set it to the highest available for you. In my case, I only have 4 but you may have more or less depending on your CPU. Then click on OK and then go into the services. Now inside of here, make sure that hide all Microsoft services is checked and then go ahead and uncheck any of the services that you don't want to start off with your Windows. In my case, I have unchecked all of the Adobe, Brave, Google Chrome and PC Manager services and anything related to my graphics card and Windows is checked inside of here. Just make sure that those are not unchecked checked then click on the startup and open up the task manager inside of here do the same thing go through this whole list and make sure that any process that you don't want to start up with your windows is disabled and in order to do that all you need to do is just right click on it and then click on disable since i have already disabled it it's going to show me the enable option so i'm gonna go ahead and close out of this since i have already disabled all of the useless programs inside of here once you are done, hit apply, hit ok, it's going to ask you whether you want to restart, just click on exit without restart as we will be restarting our PC later on anyways. After that, open up the start menu once again and this time type in the keyboard. Go ahead and open up the keyboard inside of the control panel and once this opens up just make sure that the repeat delay and the repeat rate are both set to short and fast so that is to the far right hit apply hit ok open up the start menu once again and this time type in the mouse go ahead and open up the mouse settings and then go ahead and click on additional mouse settings once this opens up click on the mouse pointer options and then make sure that this pointer is set to the sixth dot right here and also make sure that enable pointer precision is unchecked as it is going to disable mouse acceleration giving you a much smoother and lower input delay when using your mouse. Hit apply, hit ok and now we can move on to the advanced system settings. So once again open up your start menu and type in the advanced system settings. Go ahead and open it up and inside of here under the advanced under performance click on settings and by default it will be set to let windows choose what's best for my computer. All you need to do is click on adjust for best performance and then make sure that four of these are checked. That is show shadows under windows, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen font and use drop shadows for icon labels on desktop. Once that is done, click on advanced and make sure that adjust for best performance off is set to programs, hit apply, hit ok and hit ok once again. Now at this point, you may want to create a system restore point as we are going to be changing a lot of the windows settings which you may or may not like. 
like. The reason we did not create a restore point beforehand was all of those tweaks can be manually reverted by just enabling or disabling stuff and simply following along with the video. So in order to create a restore point, once again you need to go to your start menu and type in a restore. Then click on the create a restore point and once inside of here, click on the drive that you have your windows on. Click on configure, turn on system protection and set the max usage to around 5%, hit ok. Then click on create and you can go ahead and name it anything. I'm gonna go ahead and name it the restore point then click on create. Now that the restore point has been created, click on close, hit OK and open up the start menu to go into these settings. For the people who are using Windows 10, the layout may be different but the settings remain mostly the same. So in going into the display, just make sure that the scale is set to 100% because for some reason if you set it to anything other than that, Windows causes a slight increase in the input delay. Going back into the system, open up the notifications and make sure that they are turned off. Going back into the system once again and inside of here go into the storage. Click on the storage sense and turn it on. Set the run storage sense to every month and this is going to make sure that once a month it goes up and cleans up all of the temporary and useless files that are no longer required by the windows. Consider it as an automatic storage management system in which it automatically cleans up all of the temporary files without you having to do anything. Also make sure that delete the files in my download folders is set to never otherwise it will automatically delete those as well. Going back into the system, scroll down until you can find the remote desktop and once again make sure that this is turned off. Going back into the system one last time and open up the clipboard, make sure that the clipboard history is turned off, clear the clipboard data and suggested actions should be turned off as well. Once you are done with everything inside of the system, click on the personalization. Now inside of here, go into the taskbar and make sure that you copy these settings. So turn off all of these and make sure to hide the search icon because you can always go ahead and just open up your start menu and start typing to search anything anyways. Going into the apps, just go ahead and click on the installed apps and inside of here just go through this whole list and make sure that you uninstall anything that you don't need. Because the less storage that you have on your drives, the slower your windows will perform and overall you may experience a decrease in its snappiness. Also open up your start menu and make sure that any of these apps that come pre-installed with Windows 11 are also uninstalled. Unless of course you want to use them, but for me I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of these and click on uninstall to uninstall them. Now that you are done inside of here, click on accounts and inside of here is one of the most important settings that I want you to do is log out of your Microsoft account. You can go into the sign in options and inside of here you will have an option to log in with your local account but since I have already done it I don't have the option but go ahead and log out of your Microsoft account. This will not only protect your privacy but it will also decrease the number of telemetry services that keep running in the background while using a Microsoft account. So go ahead and sign into your local account and then go on to the gaming. Inside of here make sure that the Xbox game bar is turned off. Going back click on captures and make sure that these are also turned off and then going into the game mode go ahead and turn it on. It may give you a slight boost in FPS in all of the games that you may play. Then click on graphics and inside of here click on the desktop app and then click on browse. You can go ahead and add the executable file for your favorite game inside of here. So for me I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Genshin Impact. Just right click on its shortcut and open up the file location. Then once the launcher.exe is selected I'm gonna go ahead and click on add and then click on options and then just go ahead and set it to high performance hit save. Then clicking on the privacy and security, inside of here I'm gonna go ahead and open up windows security. And then there is only one thing that I want you to disable. Now I do recommend you go ahead and disable the windows defender as well but for those of you guys who want to keep it there is only one thing that I want you to disable and that is to open up the windows security. Then click on device security and under core isolation go ahead and open up the core isolation details and turn off memory integrity. It does prevent attacks from malicious code to the processes however it runs a lot of processes and uses up system resources so that is the reason we are going to be turning it off and it's going to go ahead and give you a slight increase in FPS. Now you can close out of this and go back into the privacy and security. Inside of here under the general, go ahead and turn everything off. Go back under the speech, turn everything off and then go ahead and do the same thing for inking and typing, diagnostic, activity history, search permissions, open it up, set it to strict, make sure that this is turned off, also this, search history, device search history, show search highlights, go ahead and turn this off as well. Going back into the privacy and security and then just go through all of these app permissions and turn them off as well. Moving on to the windows updates and inside of here just go ahead and update your PC and then go ahead and pause them for as long as you can so they don't run while you are gaming. Then click on the advanced options and inside of here go ahead and turn all of this off and then open up the delivery optimizations. 
Now inside of here, click on the advanced settings and make sure that the percentage one is checked. Then check both of these and set them to the lowest. Do the same thing for the upload settings. Check both of these, set them to the lowest and we are done with the windows settings. Now you can close out of them. Then moving on to the power settings and in order to do that, open up your start menu once again and then type in power plan. Go ahead and click on edit power plan and then go into the power options. Instead of here, just go ahead and click on show additional plans and check the high performance. Then click on change plan settings and make sure that this one is set to never as well as this one. Then click on change advanced power settings and once this opens opens up under the hard disk just go ahead and expand it down and make sure that the setting is set to zero minutes so it's set to never then moving on to the pci express just go ahead and make sure that this setting is set to off and then the processor power management just make sure that the minimum state as well as the maximum processor state are both set to 100 percent then hit ok hit save changes and now you have a custom high performance power plan you can close out of this now that all is done here check out this video if you are tired of useless windows services that are reducing your windows and gaming performance